Ten years ago this month, an explosion claimed the lives of two of John Creasel's best friends. Creasel himself was injured by the IED blast near Fallujah, Iraq, and he had to have both his legs amputated. But since that day, the veteran and former state lawmaker made a promise to himself. John Lawrenson shows us how a decade later, Creasel is living each day to the fullest while never forgetting his fellow soldiers. Yeah, this year I, it was tougher. Uh, I'd be lying if I said it wasn't. John Creasel doesn't need an anniversary to remind him of what happened. The prosthetic legs he puts on every morning are reminder enough. It's one of those things where I want it to hurt. If it doesn't hurt, then something is wrong with me. Every year, Creasel visits the grave sites of Corey Ristad and Brian McDonough. This picture was taken less than two hours before both men lost their lives, and Creasel lost his legs. When I woke up at Walter Reed and realized two of my best friends had died, and I lost both of my legs, I didn't think the sun was going to come up again either. But it did, as it has every day since, and Creasel has made the most of it. He was a state representative who played a big role in getting U.S. Bank Stadium built. He wrote a book that has sold thousands of copies, and just this month, he got his bachelor's degree. He and fellow soldier Tim Nelson also held what they call an Alive Day party. We were happy and joyous, but at the flip side, two of our best friends were killed and their families are grieving. The Vikings honored Creasel and those families at a game earlier this month. To help fellow veterans, he now works as a veteran services officer in Anoka County, and he's taking part in a brain history study at Walter Reed Medical Center to help doctors better understand how to treat veterans with blast injuries. Um, the brain injury might have been what made me want to get into politics, I don't know. but uh. It's that sense of humor that helps Creasel understand that life is too short and the greatest tragedy of all would be to spend it unhappy. Happiness is tough to find sometimes for people and so since I have happiness, why not? I don't want to mess with anything. Life is good. Chris also talked about how far medicine has come along since his injuries. He says the prosthetics he has now give him the most mobility he's had since his legs were amputated. And two more things here. He hasn't ruled out writing another book at some point. He also hasn't ruled out running for office again someday. I'm sure so we haven't heard the last He's having a lot of fun right now yeah. doing what he's doing, helping veterans. Very but. active on Twitter as well. Yes, he is. Yeah. Very much so. Important yes. message. Thank you, John. You bet.